Hi, I'm Fabio Varesano. In this video I review a China-made pick-and-place um, vacuum pump for SMD hand assembling. And the product is this one, which is which I got from Good Luck Buy, which is basically a, a China shop and I just got it here in Italy it took about one month and this is the actual price I got from them I didn't have to pay any customs and this is it it's basically a, a, a pump here two pens here uh, some uh, nozzles and needles and uh, the feeders here and you can see them actually here this is the feeder which I charge with uh, 0805 resistors here and with also 0, 0402 uh, resistors here I don't know if you can see that and this is the feeder I'm not actually sure that this is the way to to charge the the feeder because there, there's also here this uh, this other round around the there, there but I don't know if this is the correct way to charge the feeder but anyway this seems to be working pretty good basically I can I can manually pull this and then remove the the tape here to unplug the and then use the the vacuum pen to suck this resistor off. But basically let's have a look at the at the motor and at the pumps here. So the thing came came with uh, two pens with uh, different kinds of and sides of needles as well as uh, uh, some of uh, of this stuff here and uh, so these are the two pens and uh, basically you can you unplug this and you can change it it's quite effective and then you can replug it basically there is here one hole when you when you cover it the the pen is sucking when you unplug it the pen isn't sucking anything so that's it the motor the motor here has uh, is uh, uh, is adjustable so that you can tune it to your needs and there are two two connectors here for the for the air pump and one important thing I want to note is that the the motor came with this very strange uh, main mains plug which is this one but this is really useless for at least for us in Italy I had to change this with a, with a proper connector like this one it's not not really a big deal but something to point out, out anyway Okay, so let's give it a try with the most thin needle here and with a 0, 0805 resistor. And we at there, suck it and release. Suck it and release. Suck it and release. Seems to be working pretty good. Now I have here a zero uh, 
0402 resistor let's see if we can suck it up and there we go it's working it's quite effective in sucking up the the things and uh, let's now give it a try from the from the feeder and for example here the pumps also came with various different of uh, this one and you can you can mount them like this and put it inside like that and then you have and then you have your 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 pump here very much more stable let's give it a try with a coin here and let's see if this thing work ah perfect and let's try something heavier for example this thing here oops a little bit of dust no this is not working this is too heavy okay so let's give a try with uh, this part here and see we, if we can suck it up Okay, that's it. Maybe for this one, a smaller vacuum is, is needed. Let's try with this one. Let's see what what's the difference. Very, very bad. That's it. I think uh, that, uh, well, actually, I still didn't try this thing in any serious uh, hand assembling, but I still think that this is uh, quite nice. I mean, uh, it's working pretty good, it's sucking up of, uh, components very well, I don't see any problem. The, um, well, actually the only thing uh, I'm a bit skeptical about is the this hole here. I think that uh, in a long end assembling section, handling the, the pen like this and having to close and open this hole can be quite uh, tiring from for the hand I don't know maybe it's better to handle it like this I'm not sure like this I mean I'm not sure but I still think that this this can be quite a pretty handy tool to have in uh, SMD assembling uh, lab I mean it's, it's it works it can be very well effective well and uh, can this be used to build an homebrew pick and place machine 
well I guess if we are able to find a, an automated way of closing the hole, this hole I think so I think this w there wouldn't be much problem I think so that's it thanks for watching and stay tuned on my personal blog or on my youtube channels for more SMD and uh, general hacking videos, videos. thanks for watching and goodbye